vectors in 3 space R3. Find the direction cosines and the direction angles of the vector u equals to 0, 5, minus 2. Show that cos of alpha, cos of beta, cos of gamma is a unit vector. So this problem is related to our last video. So in the previous video I explained you what is direction cosine and what is direction angle, right? As you know, alpha, beta, gamma are your direction angles and cos of these angles is direction cosine. Now we have a vector u and we will do some calculations to show you how to find cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma and how to find the angle alpha, beta, gamma thereby we will be able to give direction to our vector, correct? So let's start with finding magnitude of the vector. So what is the magnitude of our vector 0, 5, minus 2? Magnitude is, these are our direction numbers. Square of these numbers, add them up. So it's 0 square plus 5 square plus minus 2 square square root. That gives us the magnitude of this vector, right? Which is 25. You can use your calculator now and calculate this answer. This one is simple, so I'm just writing square root of 29 becomes the magnitude of our given vector u. Now, to find the direction cosines, we'll use the formula as we derived. So, cos of alpha is what is the direction vector? It is what is the direction number? So, number is 0. So, a is 0 for us. a over the magnitude, right? The formula was cos alpha, let me write, cos alpha is a over magnitude of u, right? Now, a for us is 0. So, 0 over magnitude is square root of 29. So, that is our cos of alpha. What is cos of beta? Cos of beta is the component along y-axis, which is 5. So, let me write first the formula b over magnitude of u. The component along y-axis was 5. So, 5 over square root of 29. That becomes cos of beta. How about cos of gamma? That is the component along z-axis divided by the magnitude of the vector. In this case, it is minus 2. So, we get minus 2 over 29. So, these are all our direction cosines, cos of the angles. Now, from here, we can find what alpha, beta, gamma are by taking cos inverse, correct? So, you can say, let me use another ink. We can say alpha is equals to cos inverse of, well, this is 0. So, let me write 0 and you can use your calculator to find the answer. But cos 0, we know, is 90 degrees, correct? Now, for the next one, beta is cos inverse of 5 divided by square root of 29 within bracket. Let's use a calculator and find the answer. The so second function cosine within bracket 5 divided by square root of 29 and then bracket close equals to 21.80. So we get 21.8 as beta. Now gamma will be equals to cos inverse of minus 2 divided by square root of 29. And that is, we'll again use the same formula, second function of cosine within brackets, we'll do minus 2 divided by square root of 29. And then bracket close and we get our answer as 111.8. So these are our answers for alpha, beta and gamma. It shows that the cosine of alpha was 0, cosine of beta was 5 over square root 29 and the angle beta, that means the angle vector u makes with y-axis is this. So that is how we can find direction cosines and angles, direction angles for any given vector. So simple. Second part is 
show that cos alpha cos beta cos gamma is a unit vector so well this is a unit vector that means if I add I mean if it is a unit vector that means the magnitude should be 1 right so if th these are my direction numbers right if it is a unit vector in that case cos square of alpha plus cos square of beta plus cos square of gamma should be equal to 1 correct if it is a unit vector that should be true correct because what is the magnitude magnitude is a square plus b square plus c square square root and square root of 1 is just 1 that is why so let's figure it out these are our values let's calculate so what we have here first one is 0 anyway let me write 0 and no need to write but anyway let me just fill it up sometimes it could be a different number right whole square so we have to do square of this plus 5 over square root of 29 square plus minus 2 over square root of 29 square correct so what do we get when we square this we get in the denominator it is 29 and in the numerator 0 square plus 5 square plus 2 square rather 5 square is 25 plus minus 2 square is 4 so we get 29 over 29 which is 1 does it make sense yes it does after all we divided by the magnitude which was 0 square plus 5 square plus minus 2 square do you see that so when we add these we are bound to get the magnitude so it's magnitude of vector divided by magnitude of vector which is 1 so we have proved that direction cosines actually represent unit vector for your vector u so this is a very important conclusion from this particular example I would like you to go through the previous video once again along with this video so that you get conversant with the terms which we have used in both the videos so first what do we call these three numbers these three numbers are called direction numbers they are the components of u why components if you want to draw them on R3 then you have to move 0 along x, 5 along y, minus 2 along z axis. So these are the components. Alpha, beta and gamma are your direction angles. The angles which vector makes with x axis, y axis or z axis respectively. Cosine of these angles are called direction cosines, right? So direction cosines are the way in which we define direction to our vector and what you also learn is direction cosines represent a unit vector for the given vector square of cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is always equal to 1 so there could be a problem when we give you two angles you can always find the third using this formula so that is how you can use all this information it's very useful, so watch it once again. Thank you.